Jay-Z doing magic with the hand symbol. Well, if we're going to go there. Rockefeller. If we're going to go there, then Star Trek, I live long and prosper. There's a lot of... It's half the ironic blessing. I know. There's a lot of things like that mm -hmm. in Star Trek that's kind of... Huh. It's new age show. It is. It is. But maybe Gene, Gene was purposely showing people what it was like. But then again, you look at Star Trek no. and there's so much sexuality to no, it. No, me and Phil looked into this. Yeah. He was an atheist. Okay. Definitely. At the end of his life, there's... Signs he may have been thinking about God a little, but they say the same thing about Carl Sagan. But, but at he, the end of his life, he was a horrible drug addict and alcoholic. Oh, God but bless you! Yeah, him. yeah, it killed him. You know, I love. It's because of the industry. It killed him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> you can't do this stuff, man. It's not good for you. you destroy your soul. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. End of story. The Huronic Blessing, I mean, they say it's Jewish, but really, it's Babylonian. Well, wait, wait, look, at the, look, the Star of David is the Star of Remphan. It's Babylonian shit. Yes, it is. That that sign is not the sign of Israel. The, 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 the national sign of Israel traditionally was the menorah. Yeah. That is not the sign of Israel. No. It's the Star of Remphan. Like I said, there's the satanic part of Christianity, and there's the satanic part of of Islam, there's yes. the satanic part of Judaism. This is the satanic part of Judaism. What is that symbol? It is a triangle and an upside down triangle put laid on each other. It's what the is Baphomet. That? Exactly. You got it. The com combination of male and female in one. Hermaphrodites. Instead of male and female becoming one, right? Which it's is the male holy. And, yes, that's it, the holy communion. It, it's it's male and female being one exactly, which is an abomination. That yes. though, that's not normal. If you if you are that way, God bless you. That's a birth defect. There's male and female. Oh boy, we're gonna go. Okay, let's go. To this has nothing to do with homosexuality or no, the LGBT or transgender. No, it doesn't. no. This is this is spiritual talk. Yes. Okay. Esoteric science. You I can love, almost say. I love my fellow homosexuals Absolutely. and gays. I so, love my LGBT. I am LGBT. Right. Okay? Yeah. I love the females. It's I obvious. Mean, I'm not in that community, but I'm an ally. Yes. But... Because they're people. But there is a spiritual context... Yes. ...to... This ideology. The, this ideology. It's what they do for ritualistic stuff. Mm -hmm. Has nothing to do with sexuality per se. It's more of the ritual. Because coming down to the end of the line, transgenderism is a mental disorder. It's body dysmorphia. Yes. And that's not to insult them. No. They're people. Treat them well. They're beautiful people. They have they have all the rights you do and should. But like I said, this has nothing to do with the LGBT, even though some of it is involved in it but it's it's more about power dynamics yeah definitely energy transference 100 percent. you know these men who do this stuff they're not gay they're straight but yet they do gay stuff for the energy it's crowleyism crowleyan luciferianism or babylonian That's magic it. yeah yeah that's why the kippa, yeah, the Jewish little hat that guys wear, guys, okay, on the back of their head. That's called the key. They call it kippa, but it comes from Babylon. Yeah, and the fish hat of the Pope. Mm-hmm. That's Dagon. It's Babylonian bullshit. It's Babylonian. No, no, it's not Christianity. No, at all. You look at the Catholic Church, it's Babylonian. It is. It just is. And that doesn't condemn Catholics. No. It doesn't, okay? If you love Jesus, you're Catholic, that's great, okay? But I'm telling you, you need to come out of these churches. You need yes. to come out of these, these things. Yes. Because it's all been infiltrated. All of it. All our, of it. Our government, our media, our military industrial complex, our religions, they've all been fucked up with 
even in Islam, even in Judaism, even in, in Buddhism, all of it, Hinduism, there's always a dark side to all these religions. Church buildings, mosques, Jesus Christ said you need no building. You need no hill. You the worship. kingdom of God is in you. That's it. The great mystery. You don't need something with brick and mortar to find God because God is a relationship That's it. with you. That's it. It's in you. You must look in, in within to find what's out. All these people, they're looking on the outside. They're looking at that, 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 the, 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 the uh, prestige, the, yeah. the ambiance of it. Fame. It's all ego driven. Exactly. That's why they dress in the gold and the white and the red and the purple and yes. and saying they're kings. Mm -hmm. It's all the same thing, man. It's all mind control. It is. To to convince you you don't need a god because you're your own god, which is a lie from the pit of hell. You can't save yourself. You're going to go through shit. That's it. Back to Solomon did it. I talked about that earlier. Yeah, Solomon and, did and it. And it was for pussy. Yeah. Always for sex. There's always a sexual element to this shit. That's right. Always. It's so fucked up. For pussy. You condemn your soul for a piece of ass? That's real stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get married. Yes. Love your spouse and that's it. Oh, it's marriage is the best. Because you feel you're clean. You can have fun in bed and it's clean. And you get to learn each other's bodies. Oh, yeah. You get to, you, it's, it's like <laughs> one night stands is nothing, man. It's not like I wouldn't good. know about that, but I take your word, definitely. One night stands is, is it should be called one night bad sex parties i don't know <laughs> one night dirty <laughs> it's gross one night dirty baby Ugh. gross not into um and egyptian magicians and the magicians of ancient samaria and they understood that this trapezoid symbol this symbol of a trapezoid it's a way to they say it's a priestly bl blessing but see it's you're capturing something in the pyramid Come on, Lord, guide my tongue. It's fixation and fascination magic to make you fascinated. And people are indeed fascinated, are they not? By, they were. How he did his eyebrows, look at Spock. Ah. Uh, it's the same thing. Pointed eyebrows, you're intrigued. Satanism. Yeah. Aquino had the exact same eyebrows. I had to mention that. Go ahead. Wow. I know who puts curses on their graves. Egyptians. Yeah, you open it, you're done. Egyptians. True. It's Egyptian. And the Jews were enslaved where? Egypt. Well, a long time. 400 Ooh. years. That's right. Wow. It's Egyptian. That's why it's a triangle of pyramid. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on now. Do you get this? It's all magic. Yes, this is what controls the planet. The priesthood. Constantly putting curses on people. That's why we all have low energy. Bill Cooper just put this so perfectly. The Promethean fire given by Lucifer to mankind. False light. False light. Not the light, false light. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's what we're dealing with. And it rules the planet. Period. Yep. And, but Christ is returning to set this right. Period. Exactly. Dad's coming around to make it all good again. <sighs> He's going to put the kids in their place. Remember, Jesus is the cornerstone mm -hmm. of the pyramid. The capstone is the cornerstone. That's why it's on the dollar. Let's get the dollar bill. You going to get the dollar bill? Get the dollar bill. Pop the cam. Okay, baby. For a second. We'll do boo. Thank you. 
Blah. I got one buck left because God did yeah. that for me. I had three bucks. Our meds were two. So, let's do this really fast. Why the hell is this first place? Why is this even on the money? Why? But look at the capstone. It is not connected to the pyramid, right? Do you know what that is? That's the chief cornerstone. That's Christ himself. But they twist it. That's, they say it's the eye of God. They say That's, Lucifer is Jesus. Yes, they do. They mix it. With, they mingle all of it for confusion's sake. Why is this on our money? Do you know who put that there? FDR, a fucking communist. <laughs> Done deal. Why would you put that on our money? They're if... busted. It's Egyptian. I know. Why, why is that on our money? We're not Egyptian. No, we're not. No reason for it. Uh-huh. They're showing you who they work for. They do. They are. Lucifer. <laughs> Period. It's bullshit. I know Dashton is into spiritual stuff. I just want you to see this page. Have a nice shot of it. You can pause it when you want. And read all of this stuff when you get a chance. I hope you can... I hope you can, I can get a good shot of it. I'm going to publish something, though. Okay? People would say I'm schizophrenic. I'm not. It's just the Spirit of God. Okay? Thank you, hon. You're welcome. I know he, he is touched in the Spirit. He's going to get stuff. Yeah, I love you, Dashton. I love him, too. He's awesome. I'd love to meet you in real life. Hell yeah. Meet up. I'd love to. Me too. Yeah, we need to exchange each other's spirits and minds. That's right. Spirit can be so. <sighs> so he is a type of devil with his pointed ears. He played a devil on TV. He played the, inte the intellectual version of the devil. And so there, he's using half of the blessing here. You see? Because if he, if he would hold oh, up his <coughs> other hand... If you look at the, the Vulcans, they're all about logic and they strip themselves of their humanity. They strip themselves of their, their, their feelings. Yep. Their emotions. The things that make you, you. That's right. Why? And it's all down to logic. Huh. Like cyborgs. Leaning on your own understanding as if you were God. Yeah. That's it. Which the Bible tells you the opposite. If you lean on your own understanding, you're done. But I'm not saying there's anything wrong with logic. You should be logical. Sure. But you also should have your feelings, your emotions, your essence. Absolutely. Because you can make better decisions that way. Mm -hmm. Just relying on logic and not relying on what's good the spirit. and moral. There's a problem there. Vulcans nullify spirit. They do. It's all about what's physical. And what's physical isn't even solid. What the fuck is your, your issue? What's the deal? <laughs> the only thing that exists is energy. Spirit. Spirit. Numa. We're actualized spirit. I mean, you... Yeah, that's right. You can't even get... A more probably satanic in the past person in the past, Maynard James Keenan and the latest Tool album. The main song that's on the radio all the time is called Numa. He even he's saying all that exists is spirit, and we're all one. That's what he says. In we're the all at the same energy coming from the same stars, coming from the same dust of of everything. We're all the same. God breathe. But but the thing is, is like we can't, for some reason, realize we're all from the same spirit. Mm-hmm. That's right. And they try to extinguish the spirit, but you can't have a body without a spirit. We're made of dust. Stardust. And some water. Well, lots of water. <laughs> well, that's the holy... Water is life. Exactly. It's life-giving. Vulcan, the planet. There's fire. no water. It's, it's fire. all fire. Right, yeah, it's hell. Yeah. It's like hell. It's fire, Vulcanism. Yeah. 
Volcanoes everywhere. Mm. Everything's red. Man, are we seeing things here, Shani? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I love Star Trek. I'm a Trekkie. Yeah, okay? I love Star Trek too, but man. We should look more into volcanism, their spiritualism from sure. Star Trek. Yeah, we should also look into... It's very Babylonian. We, we <laughs> should do a whole thing on Roddenberry. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yeah, you want to know more about Roddenberry. Of course. Love Star Trek. Oh, I love you, Dashin. Our light is Wi-Fi to communicate and watch over what other like spirits and angels, and we can look after them and each other. Oh, you're so sweet. He's an angel. Oh, I love Dashin. He's literally an angel. I believe it. He's in the. He's in, He is in some kind of very special. I don't know, man. You're anointed. Oh, I love him. You are anointed. He's a brother. Mm-hmm. And just like that, and put them together, he would be giving you the symbol of the rock, as you were told it was. The symbol of the rock, right? <laughs> yeah, it's the rock, baby. <laughs> yeah, I sound like a scrub. Look at that motherfucking Al Sharpton doing it. Why, Al? What's your deal? What the fuck, Al Sharpton? You know, they call him Rev. They do? What the fuck, Al? I'm offended. he been to the Diddy parties, too. Oh, yeah. He's identified Al Sharpton, but he's still saying he's of God. You lie. Oh, my God. It's me. It's me. It's DDP. What are you doing, Diamond Dallas Page? You're a believer in Christ. Why are you doing that? Why's Al Sharpton doing that? Beyonce. Huh? Who you guys working for? What's the deal? Are you representing Jesus, the capstone? What I look, you gotta fucking choose a side. You with Lucifer? He's a loser from the beginning and a liar. Jesus don't like fence sitters. No. Lukewarm is bullshit. You okay? You're either for him or against him. Which one are you? If you're lukewarm, he's going to spit you right out of his mouth. Room Al Sharpton, you should be ashamed of yourself. Room temperature water is gross. Mm-hmm. You working for the devil, Al Sharpton. I'm seeing it clearly. Either fully love Jesus or fully hate him. Same with Tyler Perry and um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 T.D. Jakes. Oh, man. Y'all doing it. That's right. That's it. So. Sons of the devil trying to pose as believers in Christ. That's Fuck right. you. <laughs> no, Shaka Khan. Ah, girl. None holy. Uh-uh. None holy. What you doing, Shaka? Bro. Ain't that wild. Chakra. Khan. Right? Chakra Khan. She's a con artist. Yeah, man. Posing as something she ain't. That's it. What you doing, Shaka? Dumbass. You see how it's like a portal and there's like a, a house in the middle of her fucking hands? Yep. She's showing you it's a portal. And it says, come to my house. You're invited to my house. You have to invite the demons in. Right. She's telling you she's inviting the demons in. Vampires. <laughs> she is, but... Psychic vampires. We're going to be right back. I need to take a little brief intermission at the lavatory. Because, you know. Nature calls. Yeah. <laughs> Let me turn that on. Cam. Boom. Wow. You ever hear of this, folks? I found this at Quinn's. Plant-based chicken vegetarian Marie Callender. 
That's what the girl's gonna eat right now, the beautiful baby girl. <laughs> That's it. Good stuff. You know, I'm not doing this, and, and I, I'm not doing this to like knock my uh, white witches. I just want to let that know. No. This isn't white witch shit. Okay, this is darkness. Yeah. This is the dark part of society, of reality. Uh, that's why I want, I, I, I was like, I was sleeping with my medicine. It hit me really hard. You know, I love Marine Calendar's pot pies. They're the best. They're awesome. Um, <laughs> what's gross? Vegetarian food? No, it's not. No, it's not. I've lost 25 pounds since I've gone vegetarian, so I know it's working. Right. And I'm going to be losing even more weight with my weight loss drugs. And I'm going to be, I, 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 I have a setup to go to a uh, nutritionalist coming up soon. You know, and, and yeah. going for bariatric surgery. I want to get healthy. Exactly. I want to better myself. You know, and I, I, I don't, I don't want to die young. You know, I got my sons to live for. Yeah. You know, I want to be a skinny queen at my, at my son's graduation coming up soon. I'm so proud of him. Amen. I'm so proud of my sons. Awesome. And I want to be there for their graduations. Awesome. A skinny mama, a healthy mama. Oh, I know I got this, Cliffs. So I'm fully motivated to do it. You know, I don't have a food addiction, which actually makes it good. I don't have to worry about that. Exactly. Um, unlike other people. So the food, the, so not having a food addiction is, is a good thing. Yeah, I'm a foodie. I like tasting different foods. I like trying everyone's cuisines. But I don't gorge. I don't, I don't binge eat. I'm just sedentary because my legs are fucked up. Exactly. But the more weight I lose, the more my joints are going to be better. More relief on them. That's right. And I won't be disabled anymore. Exactly. Because I don't want to be disabled for the rest of my life. I want to do things. I want to go on the beach. Oh. I want to be able to hike again. Mm. Yeah. I, I love hiking. I love going in nature and and I want to take you to the park, man. Exactly. Hang out. I do. It's a nice park we got, man. It is. It's nice. It is. It's pretty. One. <laughs> I got some weight to lose. I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, you will. Because I'm motivated for it, and I don't want to die young. I want to be there for my sons. Amen. I want to see my grandkids. I want to help raise my grandkids. Right. Zach I want to said, hold those little babies in my arms. What did Zach say the last time we talked? I about want him? kids. That's awesome. He wants a baby. Yeah. Already. <laughs> Beautiful. William, on the other hand, is like, I don't really like kids. <laughs> I, he didn't exactly say that. He just... <laughs> the, his temperament is such that he'd rather not be around them. That's true. I get that. I really get yeah, that. Yeah, you're blocked for that name. Mm. I'm so good. I just live on peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I'm like my grandfather, Davis. Cookie Pop says, I have a hard time knowing when to stop eating myself. I have to ask myself, am I eating this because I'm hungry or because it tastes good? Right. I say go by your stomach. If your stomach's growling, you're hungry. Exactly. If, if you feel like your blood sugar's dropping, mm -hmm. you're hungry. Like you're going to pass out? Eat. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You know, I'm good. Miss Hussie's posse, you'll get to hold them, Shanny. 
You know who is going to be bitter and alone until the end of his pathetic days. Hussy, oh my god. No, I don't want that for Miss Hussy. No. You know? I want to go to New York City. I'm not that, we're not far from New York City. I want to go to New York City, meet Miss Hussy, and go to a drag show with yeah. him. Okay? Exactly, Shiloh. Vegan chicken does taste like chicken. Like the, the, the Morning Star chicken nuggets, they've gotten so much better. You can't tell the difference between a Morning Star chicken nugget and a regular chicken nugget. I guarantee. I don't know why you were blocked on Insta. I didn't know you were, Lacey. I'm not on Instagram. I haven't been on Instagram for a while. He talks about you like a dog. Yeah, for views. Hello, Camel Toe. How are you, baby? How are you, darling? Alright. Let's go back to Theo. Fucking Shaka Khan. How dare you, girl? You lie. You're a witch. A dark witch. I just want to let you know, when he says Revelation 2 Niners, that's the part in Revelation where it says those who say they are Jews but are not. Correct. That That's that's what it is. Correct. It's the Revelation 2 Nine. You could go to Revelation 2 Nine and see it. Go to the back. If you don't know the Bible very well, it's right in the back. I'll okay. It, I'll just read it. Yeah, simply. you can read it. I'll read it simply fast because show and prove. It's <clears throat> da, 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 Revelation two nine. And I have written in my Bible Zionist Nazi white fakes. Uh two nine. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. You got that? That's a very, imper a very important phrase. Synagogue. The synagogue of Satan. Who do they worship? Satan. Bibi Netanyahu. Yep, I think he turned. I was one step away from BB Netanyahu with my radio show. And I'm telling you, it was on good authority that I got he was a Messianic Jew. He's turned. He went to the Brotherhood. Because he's a Mason. Mm -hmm. That's it. They ain't Jews. They don't worship Yahweh. They worship Lucifer. Yep. See? What makes you think Satan is real? Look at the world! Are you kidding me? Uh, that doesn't even deserve a response. I'm sorry. Look at the world. I'm sorry. That, that If you're looking at things like that, then you're very lost, and I pray for you. There's much evil on this planet. And if you can't see that, then you're blind. Completely. Starving children. Evil. Thank you, Miss Hussie's pussy. <laughs> for oh praying for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's all in the name, baby. Uh, oh, my stars. Shut up. Can you personally name one thing you have repented for? Yeah. Pornography. F fornication. Lust. That too. Pornography, lust. Gluttony, when I was younger. Lying. Yeah, lying, sure. There's lying. Repentant of that. Repentant of being mean to people. Not reading the Bible enough. There's a lot to repent for. Plenty. Still not proof of a magical demon, sorry. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're blind. You're blind. I pray for you. Seriously, God bless you. <laughs> How about this? Go into the industry and see if you still believe there's no Satan. Go to L.A. Oh my God, the energy. Go to Hollywood. Talk to people. I wish he would repent from wishing people dead. Because mm -hmm. I think that's just... 
That's bipolar. It's horrible. Instead of wishing them dead, wish them to repent. Yeah, I agree. In my holy self, that's exactly where I'm at. You know? And I, I know I'm it. guilty of... The, everyone's guilty of it. You know? You get angry and say things you don't mean. It, that's a human thing. We Pray in one hand and shit in the other and see which fills up first. That's funny. Not really. So you use the physical to prove <clears throat> the spiritual? That's not going to happen, honey. Can you create a tree from nothing? God can. You are not in an industry. Tell us more. I'm I'm on YouTube. It's a media industry. Anyway. Yes, it is, and you're paid for it. You got that? She's paid for it. She has a job. Wow. Me, I got two jobs now. That's true. Two. <laughs> Whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Hey, you'll be less miserable. Make your own channel and s fucking do something with your life. It's fun. Do yeah. this. Do this, man. Expose darkness with light. It'll make you happy in the spirit. A lot better than being miserable and right. being mean to people. Amen. Okay, let's talk about Prince. He's very Egyptian in his symbology. Oh, yeah. Everyone loves Prince. I get it. Who couldn't? I mean, he's so talented. was an amazing artist. He was, but he still pushed the agenda. Hermaphrodism too. Mm-hmm. Little short guy, style, uh, muscular, but uh, riding that line of gender. Yeah, I love Prince. Me too. I, I think do. he's an amazing artist. He's very talented. But he truly needed to repent. Oh, I think he loved Jesus. I hope he did. I believe he was Jehovah's Witness, JW. That's true. And and and, and they have their thing that they believe other otherwise that's fine. I You know what? With Hurricane Helen, Jehovah's Witnesses went to help rebuild Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina's ruined. Is it? That's horrible. I know. That's like home. That is a home of mine. I lived in Asheville. Yeah. Like, everything's hidden all my home. All these hurricanes are hidden in my homes that I lived in. It's a sign. It is, man. I lived in Tampa area. It's a sign, honey. I was in Newport Ritchie. When William was a baby. Do people understand that we're on the precipice of a, of a new kid in New York? I don't think they do. I think it's going to hit Ukraine first. First? I listen to you when you say those type of things. Really, why would you say that? Why are you thinking that? Putin. He's threatening them with a nuke. Oh, he has been. Yeah, he says, you come into Russia, we're going to nuke you. Whoa. Ooh. And they are stepping into Russia. And it's stupid. Like, stop. Whoa. Hmm. Don't worry, Cookie Pop. I'm with you. I love you, girl. Listen. The witchcraft stuff, okay? Well, I. This is why I said it in the beginning. Uh, Theo w might be much more conservative than I am on this. That I believe if you're into white witchcraft, you're okay because you're in the light. If you're doing black witchcraft hoodoo, that type of the darkness, you're done. You're over. You're fucked. Okay. Don't be doing Santeria and no. hoodoo. No, all that shit. Always focus on the light because exactly. the light is life. That's right. The the that shit is darkness. That's death. Yes. Death ritual magic. With sex mixed into it. Blood. Blood wow. magic. Wow. Necro necromancy. Yes. Don't do that shit. You're gonna regret it. I'm... Look, I might be wrong. That all of it's bad. But my spirit's telling me that being a light worker is like having a mustard seed of faith. Amen. I feel that way. Now, Jesus can tell me when I die if I'm wrong. 
He could tell me. Okay, but I feel that the Holy Spirit tells me, if you're in a white witchcraft, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you're focusing on the light. You're focusing on the positive. You're focusing on the energy and healing the earth. Yes. But I would ask you this as well. What will you do with this man named Jesus? Okay. It's a lot a of very... people become witches because of Jesus. That's amazing, ain't it? It's uh, it's like, huh? No, they see but what he they did. But they see it. They see the physical actions he did. Putting his mud in his hands and spitting in it. Going like that and anointing the man's eyes. It's relying on the spirit of God to tell you what to do to get what you need to heal something. You're into healing. You're not into destroying. You're into healing. And I that's think light. That's Jesus. That's the Holy Spirit. Exactly. You can't heal without the Holy Spirit. Like I said, the devil can only destroy. God can create. And he can create you to be healed. Absolutely. And if you're focusing on that, if that's what your intention is, you're with God. But this this is an editorial note from me. We're presenting Theo Jackson stuff here, and I'm not saying he believes that. I don't think he would believe what I believe. But we can have different opinions as believers. It's fine. How do you tell the difference between someone who is schizophrenic and someone who is your spirit? Because those with schizophrenia, they're constantly hearing voices. Those who hear spirits, they hear it once in a while. It's like a whisper. And it's caught on freaking sound equipment. Right. EVPs, man. Definitely. So if you can hear it with your own ears, I don't think that's schizophrenic. Oh, 17. Like, if other people can hear the same thing you're hearing, it's not schizophrenia. You're hearing it on an EVP. Right. Right. Definitely. It's caught on audio. Come on. This is simple stuff. Yes. But shot in 1998. 1998. Interesting. So was she doing it because she was trying to get down to Rockefeller? This was actually on Prince Lake. NPG, New Power Generation Lake. Hello, hello, hello. New Power Generation. Hello. You want to, yeah, mute. Look at that. New Power Generation. New World Order. I mean, sure. But that's Prince's label, you know. Which isn't, we'll have to do something on Prince and his personal life. See what he was into. Uh, he was in the industry, so... Right. They let him be in the industry. So that tells you then, you think. Well, you gotta be part of them. They won't let you in the industry unless you do what they tell you to do. How much did Prince talk about Jesus? I don't think much. Mm. He usually talked about his music. Right. I don't even believe I heard him talk about Jesus, actually. I don't remember anything of him hearing it. Mm. Hello, why did God create evil? Because we took a bite of that freaking fruit called uh, the fruit of good and evil and we had to get knowledge of good and evil. And you can't get knowledge of good and evil without experience in it, honey. It's the curse. The light springs from the dark and the dark is part of the light. You can't appreciate the light without evil, dude. That's right. That's right. Which is Masonic sounding, but guess what? It's the deal. It's what we're dealing with. It's what it's what our ancestors signed up for. The origin the <laughs> origin the origin of evil comes from the fall of the angels. So God was powerless against the apple? No, it was a choice. It was a choice. It was a choice. Free will choice. Why did he make the fruit that tempted us? So we could get knowledge of good and evil. So we could be like God and know everything. That's right. <laughs> I 
If you got questions like that, I understand. I do too. I really understand you. Oh, 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 oh. Who was that? Oh, Whitney. Oh, That's Whitney? Oh, oh, yeah, that, is, that is Whitney. Yeah. That's right. I love Whitney. Everybody look up the song, I Look to You. It was one of her last, and she went back to Jesus Gospel Music. She was supposed to make a comeback with Speaking gospel. Speaking of Whitney Houston. And they killed her. Whitney Houston's mama just died. Really? Yeah, she was like 92 or something. Yeah, bless her. Is she, uh, what was her name? I forgot. I, I forgot too. Deanne Warlock's Warwick. sister. Warwick's sister. Sister. Yeah. She's still alive, right, Deanne? Warwick? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Ah, uh, she's got to be so sad right now. God bless her. Yeah. I God know. bless you, Deanne. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss, honey. She's lost so many family members. It's not right what they did to Whitney Houston's family. It's not right. They ritually sacrificed Whitney Houston. As she was breathing her last breaths in a tub. Didn't God know Adam and Eve's choice before he even created them? Yeah. That was his purpose. His purpose was us to know what he knows. That's right. To experience what he experienced. You're asking why did God create people, and I'm going to tell you he wanted friends. Pretty lonely being the only created being. Yeah. He wanted friends. You're going to choose to be his friend or the fucking asshole Lucifer's friend? Go with God. I'd go with God. Lucifer's just going to destroy you and backstab you. Yeah. And rape you. <laughs> he's, he's, he's... He don't like us the humans. liar. Liar loser from the start. I don't know why people make him his archetype when Lucifer just wants to hate on you. Exactly. Hates humanity. Yep. So if you say you're a Luciferian, if you say you're a Satanist, you're saying you hate humanity. You hate yourself? I pray for you. I do too. You gotta get out of that. I, I, I'm i sorry, I just have to say Shaka Khan is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, no. Look at that face. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous woman. Definitely. Go to God, Shaka. <laughs> so all these people are so deceived, they think they are with the right God when they're with Lucifer. They're that deceived. Blind. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. She probably gone through so much being yeah, in the oh industry. Oh my god, victimized. Guaranteed. Oh, they the black women in the industry are the biggest victims. Mm. They don't get paid like white women or white men in the industry. They don't get treated right. They always get shit parts where they act like they're some kind of thug or ghetto person. Instead of like treating them like human beings. They never portray black people in the industry as good people. You know, good family people. Which I know they are. Good family oriented church loving God loving people. Absolutely. And yeah. they make them into gangsters, thugs, people you need to fear. Remember the guy that was... It's a, racist as fuck! Remember the, 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 the homosexual guy that was here for the health care? He, yeah. he goes to a black church. He loves it. I love black churches. That's the only church I think I'd go to is a black church. Me too. They got the We spirit. should go. Yeah. We should find one and go. Go to his. Yeah! You know? That would be fun. He's kind of far away, but if we got money, we could go. Dash and says, I meet real demons. They're void of light like pollution they give me. And my friend's headaches call out to the light. And Jesus, you are human. You have light. Be in it. Jesus has supernatural, real heaven light. A living plasma bubble, colorful. Light, beautiful eyes, blue. And they change in brown hair lawn. And my story is on here and locations. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. What makes the Greek, the Christian God, any more believable than the Greek gods, Norse gods, any other pantheon? Oh my God! It's do you do you think a these angels, dude? They're fallen angels. These Greek gods. Yeah. They the did. people don't lie about this stuff. They existed. 
all of these gods that you read about exist. It's not myths. No. They say it's myths because they want you to not see what's actually going on behind the scenes. Yes. Mankind has had a reprieve. CNA has a good question. Are love and hate simply opposite pol polarities of the same Polarities. energy? Yes. Boy, that's see, we're going. Yes. That's very Masonic philosophy. It, yes. But see, the Masons have truth. They choose dark. If you don't believe that you have a choice every day to choose between good and evil, you're delusional. The, the <laughs> Calvinists love to say that everything is predetermined and it doesn't matter. They're wrong. You have a free will choice every day to do good or evil. Mm -hmm. Period. Free will. That's what God gave you. Amen. Amen. Poor Jacques. I, you know, you guarantee she's been abused. You guarantee it. She's gorgeous. Not you know? paid enough by the industry or anything. Well, well, but correct. they make them look like they're rich. Yeah. Even though, like, you get Universal Music Group, and they, they, they take most of the money and give you peanuts. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it's better to start independent, to be independent. And make your own record label. You don't need Universal Productions to get your music nowadays. You can you can put your music on on YouTube and be a talented person. Absolutely. You don't need this industry anymore, and they know that, and they're scared of that. That their industry is going down because everyone sees the darkness in the industry now. That's right. Because they were so flagrant about it. 100%. From her own mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What's the deal? But if you were suddenly discovered, you would sign up tomorrow. No, I wouldn't. What do you mean by that? And I that? was already discovered by John Casablanca you're, when I was 13. You're, they, I'm already, I've already been signed up to the shit. You're assuming a lot about this woman that her commitment to Christ isn't real. You're fucking wrong. I would go into the industry and I would preach Jesus every day. But they won't allow you in the industry exactly. if you do that. Exactly. I think that's true. They'll muddy your name. Yeah. And they would require me to do things I wouldn't be willing to do. Kanye preaches Jesus. Look how they muddy his name. Absolutely. And he lost his mind so bad he was talking about Nazism, and he's not a Nazi. He just lost it so much, he's like, I'm just going to say everything. Fuck every single one of you. Because these motherfuckers, are, uh, no matter what I do, they're going to say I'm horrible because I believe in Jesus. So he just went insane and said, yeah, I'm a fucking Nazi. Jews are shit. He didn't yeah. mean it. No. He was testing the water of freedom of speech, really. Uh-huh. That's it. Alex couldn't even take that stuff. He's like, oh, no. Well, well, when you say late Nazis, all you mean is you like their, their clothes. And he's like, no. I love... <laughs> I love Hitler. Oh, my God. If you can't tell that was trolling... And sarcasm. I, I can't help you, man. It's that. It was. He didn't mean it. Nah. He loves Jesus. He just fucking with people. Mm-hmm. That's it. Casablanca doesn't choose everyone. You don't know who you, what the what you're talking about. They just about. want to try and make you feel like you didn't accomplish anything <laughs> in your life, and they're assholes. Fuck them. I'm a star, baby. That's right, And she they is. know who I am. And you ain't fuck yourself. Nah. <laughs> I like it. Stop, 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 stop. Enough was enough when she saw the people partying. At Clive Davis's Grammy party while Whitney Houston was upstairs. A fucking name. Again, Clive Davis. He's always in the fucking shit. He's a devil. He looks like my Uncle Dave. He's so fucking... He's a Davis. I know. My mom's maiden name. Both of us are in Illuminati families. Yeah, we are. 
that's why it means so much to them that we're together. I know. And it's dangerous to them for some reason. Well, we're in the power of God, and look at what we're doing. We kick the door down to evil. That's the deal, along with Theo, other spirit warriors. That's right. No dark light. Be on the right, not the left. Cookie Pop said, I walked away from Christianity when my friend lost her baby. You don't tell a grieving mother her baby's death was that, part of God's that's plan. Disgusting. Just up. Disgusting nah. asshole. Look, the churches are filled with disgusting, judgmental assholes. There's a great story told by... I, I can't remember who it was. But he posed as a homeless man. And he went into one of the mega churches, and they kicked the guy out. Mm -hmm. He had tons of money, and he was going to bless the church with it. Mm -hmm. But they threw him out. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Jesus Christ, if he were here, would knock down those doors and rebuke every person in the building? Yep. Church is dog shit. Religion is dog shit. The Bible tells you what real religion is. It's charity. Neo's house wine is saying Rev said weather is sent to punish people. It is. It is. God what? is the God says he's the whirlwind. What did Jesus say? He said that you can discern the night from the the, the day by the light, right? By by the sun coming up. You're in a season you don't even know. You don't understand it because you're fucking blind. It's time to open your eyes and see. And if you don't, you're going to burn forever. By your own hand, not God. It was your choice to not go. Get in the fucking ark. How many people Noah could have saved with his ark? And the people said, he's a fucking crazy idiot. CNA, you are correct. He, sa he said, is it possible we are dualistic beings as a God source? And our goal is to achieve resonance balance. Bingo. More th No, you don't want just balance. You want light. Yes. The true light. You want lightness. Yes. You want you you want to be free. The true of things that chain you to this earth. Yes. You do things that are physical, that are fleshly. You're going to be chained to this heavy third dimensional resonance. Correct. You want to go higher than that. You want to become lighter than that. You, you want to become light. Yeah. You want to go to the higher dimensions. Than this third dimension, this fleshly dimension. Low vibration evil. Low vibration. Trust in reason and science as your governing force. I do. You can see God in science, honey. If you trust. We are energy. Energy cannot be destroyed, that's, it can only be transferred. That's science. That's science. That's proof of a soul, dude. Correct. Your consciousness is energy. Your body is energy at a lower vibration. Do you understand this? That's why you're solid. Everything is energy. Nothing solid. Energy is energy. We already have a name for it. Yeah, Ashen. But we're energy. God is energy. Do you get it? This is very low. You should be way beyond this stuff. Nope, energy is proof of energy. No shit. Everything is energy. At a low vibration. If it's manifesting in, in solidness, it's a low vibration energy. Okay, you look at... Okay, look at water. Okay, water is fast energy, moving constantly. Fluid, yeah. You look at ice, it's slow. It's almost trapped, barely moving. That's what we are. But if you start focusing on the water, the light, the, the source of life, You can achieve things. You can't achieve things while you're trapped in this ice-like state. You look at steam.
fast vi faster vibrations. Bruce Lee said, be like water. I'm sorry, Ashen. If you have to be like this, I don't want to debate you, okay? Debate Lord somewhere else. Oh, I'm sorry, Simply Krista. I feel like ice most days. Me too. I'm sick of being trapped in this body, frankly. <laughs> I want to be free from this low vibrational existence. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aretha Franklin was pregnant at 12? Wait, I got to see if this is true. Notice her last name is Franklin. <laughs> anyway. Ben had some, yeah. He loves screwing his slaves, so man. Did Jefferson, yeah. yeah. Uh. Gross history. Oh, my God. Wow. I did not know that. Wow. Claimed of the father was a schoolmate, yet in the will she reportedly hand wrote, she refers Edward Sr. as his father. <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 no. What? Her dad. No. No, Edward uh, Jordan, not Edward Franklin. Edward Sr. is her is is Aretha Franklin's dad. Edward Jordan Sr. is her father? And got her pregnant at 12. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Aretha. Bless her heart. He raped her, and she had it. Because she couldn't have an abortion. She couldn't bring herself. A fucking 12-year-old! Your own daughter. My God. Ew, these people are nasty. Wow. That's so tragic. That is horrible. She was brave and had that baby, though. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm sorry, Aretha. Oh, my God. She had to live with that her whole life, you know? She said it was a schoolmate because she was too embarrassed to say it was her dad. Of course. We're sure that Edward Jordan Sr. is her dad. We're sure of that? Krista was like she gave birth at 12, probably was impregnated at 11. Yeah. Most likely. My God, pigs. Pigs! Fucking gross pigs. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got Tisa Tells. He watches Tisa. Yep. Unplug him, watches Tisa. Yes! I noticed that, too. Hey! Tisa is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, to tell you the truth. And she's gorgeous, yeah. Oh, my God, she's gorgeous. Yep. I ain't into the mocha, but if I was, she's the one. She's gorgeous. Man. It is horrible. Why do you think God allows it? Because oh he allows God. evil in the world, man. Because it's a choice. You are so low vibration thinking it's sad. I'm sorry. She didn't have a choice. Don't think abortion was legal then. No. I don't think so. In 1955? Nah. No, she would have had to go in the alley, right? Oh, uh, what a shameful fucking thing, man. Horrible. Bless her heart, you know? To have to go through that and live her whole life with that. And then lie about who the daddy is. That's so sad, man. That's why she wanted R-E-S-P-E-C-T, man. That's why she wanted that. Fought, her father didn't respect her. No. That's for sure. But she, her voice only came from God, man. You can't have a voice like that. Oh, she loved Jesus. She did? She loved Jesus so much. God bless her, man. That's just so sad, man. She's in the choir in heaven. Yeah, exactly. An alley or Mexico cult hater. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Ugh. 
This is why it needs to be legal, because shit like that. Yes, that's right. To force a 12-year-old to go through that, I just... Mm -mm. You're fucking evil. That's evil, yes. <clears throat> She's a baby. Is that the motherfucking daddy rapist? I think so, yep. And the son. I, I, look at Aretha's face, man. You fucking pig. Look at that little boy. Oh. I'm sorry, Aretha. You shouldn't have to live through that shit. Look at that arrogant, prideful fuck. Look at him. I get power from Satan. Look at me. Disgusting. Freak. Ugh. You fuck your own daughter. Die. Okay, Ashen, you're gone. I'm done. What the fuck is going on? What's the problem? He said the Christian God loves cruelty. That's a lie. How does Jesus love cruelty when he was always against cruelty? But what? No, he might be speaking on church bullshit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because he I, doesn't he believe in Jesus? I no, think. he's an atheist. Put an atheist propaganda in my chat. I'm done. Oh, God, it's gross. That poor woman. No, no you encouraged to date within the. Dog. I think so. A lot of my marriages were arranged by people. Yeah. Except you. Right. And that... they were totally against it. Us being together. I know, yeah. Because you're not in the circle. If you want her, why don't you come and get her? Your mother said. Demon. Like, serious evil. Mm. Bad energy, honey. They've been trying to sell me off to men since I was 13. That's insane. You're trying to introduce me to guys at 13. How about your sister? That 25... I was 14. And they told me to date a 25-year-old. Didn't you say your sister was the one they introduced you to that satanic coven? Yes. Your generational satanist family. I think so, man. I really believe that, honey. Your brother, your one brother's a Satanist. Open Satanist, right? Uh-huh. Michael? What are the chat rules here? Don't be a dick. And if you're trying to do everything to antagonize me, I will block you. Because I'm just, I'm just not going to deal with that shit. And I can, I can catch on pretty quick if you're, you're in here to antagonize. Like, questions are awesome. Like this Nick Joel, for instance. What are you begging for today? More foods for your chins? <laughs> That's an antagonizer, for Fucking instance. Fucking juvenile moron. Always the fat jokes with them, because that's all they have. <laughs> it's not funny. You're fucking dumb. It's dumb humor. Anyway, let's go back to Theo. Absolutely. Oh, God damn. Damn it. But see, these people might, it might not mean anything. They're all victims of this shit. Yeah. Yeah, do this. Remember to do this. Exactly. You know. It doesn't mean anything to them. Yeah. But they're told to do it. Yeah. Or you're not going to have a job. Exactly. Exactly. God bless Patty LaBelle, man. I'm really glad that Theo said it. Like, this, we're not saying they're horrible people. It's all they knew. Exactly. The Met Gala where they dress up all weird. Exactly. Oh, craziness. Yeah, weird. Exactly. Definite weird shit. <clears throat> exactly. I don't believe in the devil. My God wouldn't be okay with uh, any of the devil stuff. I'm glad you don't believe in the devil. Uh, I'm sorry, but he exists. He does exist, though. Hey, and he rules this planet. Why do you think the governments of the world are so fucked? And, and anti-life. 
They think war is fine. Let's ah, go to war. I love the CNA productions. Would you agree being a perpetual student in life is the best and healthiest way to go through it? Yes. Yes, constantly learn. Constantly educate yourself. The wisest man in the world, Solomon, agrees. You can't watch one video and believe it's all true. Uh, this isn't just one video. This is multiple videos in this video. But also, it's also if you study this stuff, if you see what these people are doing, if you listen to what they say... Wait a minute. Okay. Are you this blind, folks? I really want to help people, okay? I'm not going to be mean. But Theodore Jackson here, unplug him, is showing you... You want to save receipts. All of the stuff he's talking about, he's showing to you. And giving you text along with it to explain it. Because he understands people are really dumb. He Literally, he's putting this at almost a kindergarten level that a kid could understand it. And showing you images because he knows nobody reads because they're brain dead. He's making it as boiled down and simple as he can. He's showing you this. He's not on video like I am now talking to you just saying, Oh, Beyonce's a Satanist. Uh, Jay-Z's into gay sex. He's not doing that. He's showing you images and it's fucking proof that these people are into the dark side. You reject this stuff because it scares you. You should be scared. Because the planet's run by it. Nick Joel, stop the stupid shit about you need to save Jason from me. Shut the hell up. Go away. I love this woman with all my heart and she saved my life from alcoholism. I would be dead now if it wasn't for her. So shut up and leave. Go, go down the road... Go down the, uh, the, the, to the Pokemon room with the kids. Okay? Like Brett Keen would say. This is too serious for you. You're a fucking child. Go down the hall to the Pokemon room. This stuff is real. You act as a child, you get treated as a child. And you, you, you say mm -hmm. your eyes lie. So. Yeah. <laughs> believe. Be, you should believe your eyes. He's showing you this stuff. And you're just denying it. You're scared. It's fine. Jesus is king and he will save you from this shit. He'll protect you. Absolutely. But you Why do you think I'm not fearing them? I'm coming out here boldly. That's right. And fighting them. And I'm not scared. Why? Because I know I have Jesus protecting me. That's it. He always protects me. I call out his name and he protects me. You know why he protects me? Because he loves me. He created me. He's a good dad. Thank you, Butch. No, Jason isn't in danger. My wife loves me. Bye, Joel. And I love her. Bye, Joel. Have a nice life. So enough of, enough of the dog shit. Okay, it's stupidity, childish dog shit. We're talking about something that's extremely fucking serious. And you're trying to put a wedge in our relationship. That's and you don't idea. even know our relationship. You idiots. I love me some Shade. Absolutely. Coast to coast, LA to Chicago. That's about sex work. That song. Is that right? Western Maine. Across the north to south to Chicago, lover shame. Sex Smooth teeth. operator. Oh my god. Smooth operator. It's about sex trafficking. It's about sex trafficking, oh yeah. Oh my god. Unreal. Wow, you can't make this stuff up. No, but I love today. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's a beautiful voice. Incredible voice. 
You have the same sweater on? That's awesome. What that the that is cool. Yes, the champion. I I wore it. It's champion. all it's it's getting really faded, but I kinda like that look. It looks awesome. It, <laughs> the more you wear it, the cooler it looks. Yeah, exactly. That's the deal. I'm gonna be wearing this Kurt Cobain uh carnigan for life. <laughs> It's 2X. I, it's so nice. It's, it just hugs me. It's all. Oh, I love this Carnegie. And I got it by charity. Because I had nothing to wear. I didn't. They wouldn't let me have my hoodie because you could choke yourself with the hood. They wouldn't let me have these pants because it has a cord in it. And they said we could cut the cord. I'm like, they're just going to fall off me all the time. So I had no clothes. None. So they gave me this cardigan to keep myself warm, and I wore my scrubs most of the time. But they gave me some clothes, too. I, I, I really enjoyed being there. <laughs> I did. They were charitable, too. Wow, your hair is awesome. That looks sick. Thank you. That looks awesome. 